Hello my good friends, it's Roger and I am fresh from the fight. <laughs> I have just been having it out about particles and light and dark matter. Now, listen to this. I'm going to show you in five minutes, this isn't, I'm 100% certain of what I'm saying. This is what I've been fighting about. As soon as I make any statement at all, I've been trying to be crushed. So I'm coming out a little aggressive just the way it's going to be. It's called confrontational. Now, Carroll describes fermions and bosons, which is the tiniest particles that exist. The particles come in two types. This is wrong, but here's what he says. Particles come in two types. The particles that make up matter, known as fermions, and the particles that carry these forces, known as bosons. The difference between the two is that fermions take up space, while bosons can pile on top of one another. I can show these particles, 100%. They come out of photons. All right, this is light from a red pulse laser. It's not waves, it's balls. And there's a dot in the center, which is a particle, which I will show you in a second. Now, this is that same wave accelerated. It's a ball, and it's the particle is being pulled out of the center, and there is the particle. And it concusses at the venturi, very well understood venturi, and spraying out the back are the particles known as the fermions. These have the charges. Those are the charged particles. Then additional to that is a little black ball that was attached to the white explosive charge particle we just saw, and that is called the Z boson, which has no impact value and can pile right on top of itself, just as we read a moment ago. All right, now these are photons. They're back-to-back -back electrons. The black and white is the uh, electron, and the one comes on the other side and snaps to it just like two bar magnets. And then there's some on the other side. It's called a box of electrons. It's just like this. And, they, and they, that's what photons are. We have them in red and we have them in green. And as they come and concuss in the venturi, they separate. It's the exact same thing with the green electrons. And we're going to do the red ones. They come in, you don't see hardly anything. Then they start to show the box configuration. Then they explode, and here's what happens next. All right, don't forget now, the particle was in here. There it is, and it's concussing down here. Only the white has the energy. The black ones are going to be all around the outside edges. And don't forget, they said these are the only ones that take up space, the white ones. The black balls are just roll away. It's exactly what I'm showing. They can pile up on top of each other. It's exactly what they're doing. They are the other side of an electron. It's all it is. Originally, it came through like this. And when it hit here, everything broke apart. Now, what broke apart? First of all, an electron broke apart from the other electron. Then secondly, the charged particle forced everybody away from it, including these balls, which are the black balls. But they don't care about being around each other. They don't bother each other. That's what causes every atom to have a negative exterior, which pushes away every other electron, which is going to be in the cloud. That's Electrons are nothing more than heat. They just flow through until they equal each other. They don't have any glow to them. The black and white balls are exactly the same looking. That's the whole story between, between and, and I mean, it goes deep, but I mean, it's, 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 I, I can't see how anybody can miss this. The first thing that happens is the uh, electrons literally separate from each other, causing heat. Well, in addition to that, we force them through the venturi, which makes them reject all of the non-reactive particles, which are the Z bosons. And that's where they show themselves to be exactly what they are looking for from CERN. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's it right there.